separate from Milton. So right now they're already dealing with flooding. They're already dealing with inundation of water. There's really not much more they can take with that frontal boundary that's passing through. And then as we get into your Wednesday, Thursday, Milton starts to approach. It's already intensified a category three hurricane, 120 mile per hour winds right now, but it is expected to make landfall either as a category three, maybe four. And as we get towards, it looks like that Wednesday, Thursday mark is this is in addition to the storm surge that they're going to be dealing with. It's a heavy amounts of rain, storm surge and damage winds through the area and again still looking at the devastation from Helene that just happened a few days ago so it is going to be a dire situation over the next uh, several days through the Florida Peninsula and I know a lot of people are already trying to send out relief get prepared in advance but if you're in the area you know friends family in the area a good idea to try to help them uh, we are looking at it looks like foggy weather out towards areas of LAX and that fog continues forward 61 degrees over in LAX now we're wondering why have we had so many consecutive days of this fog um, one of the things that's happening right now in the atmosphere, we do have some nice warm temperatures coming off of a ridge of high pressure. So you'll notice that our temperatures out towards our desert communities have been incredibly hot. Record breaking heat continues forward for places like Lancaster and Palmdale. Some of that heat that we've been experiencing probably is going to mean that this fall has been the hottest on record for some of our desert communities. Now off to the coast, we've had just enough of an onshore push that we are creating the opportunity for some foggy weather. So the fog continues to form along along our beaches specifically. And as we get farther in the morning, right around like 6 a.m., it gets a little bit thicker. Reason being, we're starting to see that those cooler temperatures overnight really help to condense the clouds. Now, excessive heat warning still persists. It's almost like a tale of two cities, hot in the interior and nice and cool, cloudy and foggy overcast along the coastline. So that's another day of it. So this has been very consistent. Um, as we get out towards the bigger picture, you're gonna notice that an area of high pressure, there it is, it's moved a little bit farther towards the east. So now it's about right here over Arizona, still enough to bring in some record heat for areas like Phoenix. Phoenix, you could get up to about 109 degrees, and it is a hot uh, fall for the West. 89 degrees, though, on Thursday. I do like where we're headed, though. We're headed downward, and each and every day, this week on into next week, it looks like we're going to start to see these temperatures come on down and then hopefully start following the calendar along a little bit better. 102 in Lake Elsinore. We'll see those temperatures slowly stay and come back maybe up a degree on Saturday, but pretty much stay in the low 80s all the way through the week.